Judaism is a religion, a, a, a spirituality to serve God, thousands of years old. Zionism is only around 100 years old. old. It is the transformation from religion to nationalism, to materialism created by non-religious Jews who hated the religion. And they really want, didn't want to, Judaism, they didn't even want to make their state in Palestine, only in Uganda at the first meeting. Yeah. The reason they used the, the name Israel, the Star of David, hijacking, stealing the identity of Judaism and the Jewish people is in order to, uh, to get a legitimacy for their existence, that people should say, oh, God gave, it's God given to them, and that they should put fear and intimidate people from speaking up against their actions because they'll call them anti-Semitic. Yeah. Yeah. A more serious topic. Every day on this show, we talk about the growing desperation of many Americans, those people whose homes are being forced closed, who can't find jobs. But what you don't hear about in the news are the people that are the poorest of all here in America, those that have been suffering long before the current economic crisis hit, the first Americans, as Obama called them. RT correspondent Christine Frizzau went to South Dakota to the Pine Ridge Reservation to get the full story. For the American Indian, there is history, and there is now, fantasy and reality. And on the Pine Ridge Indian Reservation in South Dakota, there are no twisted illusions about which is which. It's because of the, the poverty, the high unemployment rate here on the reservation. There's just no jobs. Oglala Sioux Tribe President Teresa Tubal says about 80% of people who live on the reservation are unemployed. <coughs> Ich bin hier fast 39 Jahre und trotzdem, ich bin glücklich, ich habe Familie und so und stolz, ich habe gute Kinder. Aber diese Ausländer, was jetzt kam, diese vor drei Jahren oder zwei Jahren, so viel Scheiße gemacht hier in Deutschland. Wenn ich bin Bürgermeister für Deutschland oder Berlin, ich schwöre dir, welche Leute Ausländer klauen eine kleine Abschiebung, sofort. Aber hier immer sagen, freie Land und demokratisch, was das demokratisch heißt? Hier ja, ein bisschen schlimm geworden, nicht wie vorher. Was heißt schlimm geworden? Heißt, dass es neu kann, äh, es voll viele Leute gekommen wenn die kommen, die müssen auch für die, die, die Leute äh, auch was anderes besorgen. Nicht unsere Wohnungen geben zum Beispiel, nicht unseren Job geben zum Beispiel. Ich bin 20 Jahre hier im Markt. War die früher gute Leute, die kaufen hier. Aber jetzt kauft keiner. Deutsche ist Umzug gemacht hier. Alle Flüchtlinge, Ausländer hier. Ich weiß nicht, ich habe vor einem halben Jahr oder so meine Wohnung, wieder eine Wohnung gesucht. Und ich erinnere mich daran, dass die Suche eine ganz schöne, also ganz schön hässlich wurde. Ähm, ich würde mal sagen, das wäre eigentlich ganz nett, auch vielleicht zu sehen, dass vielleicht auch für Leute, die jetzt nicht ganz so viel haben, entweder Studenten oder Hartz-IV-Empfänger oder Leute, die vielleicht auch einfach, sag ich mal, nicht die krassen Jobs an Land gezogen haben, ähm, dass sie ja trotzdem auch normalen Wohnraum, <lacht> sag ich mal, jetzt nicht nur am Rande der Stadt leisten können oder ganz weit außerhalb. Was sind denn so in Berlin hm. die größten Probleme, die es derzeit so gibt? Ich denke, Wohnung, Miete Problem. Es ist unkontrollierbar, man, man, man weiß nicht, wo kann man nicht mehr Wohnung kriegen, wo man, man will, ungefähr. So. Es ist so teuer. Was bewegt die Stadt oder den Kiez? Ich denke vor allem das erste Thema ist Wohnraum, bezahlbarer Wohnraum. Also gerade hier mal die Straße runtergehen, dann sieht man, wovon die Leute reden. Da sind viele Leute hergezogen, die die Mieten so hoch vertreten haben, dass einfach die Leute, die von die schon lange hier wohnen, arbeiten, etc.
I got a question. Why black lives don't matter when it comes to abortion? Let's talk about it. What's your response to some of the people that thought you were being disrespectful by being on your phone and not being attentive to them? Well, I was on my phone, and yes, that's true. I was following developments with a five-year-old little girl sitting on her dad's lap who just got shot in the head by a drive-by shooting. And if some of the people here gave a good goddamn about the victimization of people in this community by crime, I take some of their invective more seriously. The greatest racial disparity in the city of Milwaukee is getting shot and killed. Hello. 80% of my homicide victims every year are African American. 80% of our aggravated assault victims are African American. 80% of our shooting victims who survived their shooting are African American. Now, they know all about the last three people that have been killed by the Milwaukee Police Department over the course of the last several years. There's not one of them can name last, one of the last three homicide victims we've had in this city. Now, there's room for everybody to participate in fixing this police department, and I'm not pretending we're without sin. But this community's at risk, all right. And it's not because men and women in blue risk their lives protecting it. It's at risk because we have large numbers of high-capacity, quality firearms in the hands of remorseless criminals who don't care who they shoot. Now, I'm leaving here to go to that scene. Jeez. And I take it personally, okay? We're going up there, and there's a bunch of cops processing a scene of a dead kid. And they're the ones that are going to be out there patrolling and stopping sus suspects that may have guns under the front seat. They're the ones that are going to take the risks of their lives to try to clean this thing up. All right? We're responsible for the things we get wrong and we take action. We've arrested cops, we've fired cops, and so on. But the fact is that the people out here, some of them, who had the most to say are absolutely MIA when it comes to the truth threats facing this community, and it gets a little tiresome, and we start getting yelled at for reading the updates of the kid that gets shot, yeah, you take it personal, okay? Now, no offense, but I'm going up there now.